Hello all you YouTube users and welcome back to the steak and kidney pie. Now, well without the kidney. It's been on there for about five minutes and we're going to have a little sneaky peek in here. Now, I have noticed if you look around the edge, if I just tip it up, you can see a little bit of the pastry in the sills going a bit brown if I bring that right up to the camera. So I know it's cooking. We're going to pop it up. And it's, it's definitely coming brown. If I pop it over the other side, this side has been going a little bit better. Now look at that. That is going a treat. So I'm going to leave it that way down because that's the side what needs doing a little bit more. And I thought to myself, that little bit of pastry, what was left over, what can I do with that? I nearly threw it in the bin and then I had a brainwave. Look, let me put the camera back. So you can see up this end. Now, what I thought, because I ain't throwing food away, I just don't like it. So what I thought I'd do is I rolled it up into a ball in my hands, and then I stretched it into like a little sausage, like that. Then I thought to myself, what can I do? And I thought, I know what I'll do. Now, Peter from Stockport, I thought I'll get some of your mum's jam out of the fridge. And what I'll do is I'll give it a little stir and I'll get a little bit of jam on my spoon and I'm gonna trickle that along there like that. You could, If you wanted to, you could probably make two of these out of what I've got. But you know, I'm just giving you a bit of an idea and I'm just having a bit of a laugh. So I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Hey Freya, because you do a lot of cooking, I know you do, with your mum. Well, you can put this one in your mum's recipe book and you can have a go at this when your dad gets a ridge monkey for when he goes fishing because I know he really likes in these videos aren't you Peter? come on, you do right, I'm going to put a little bit more jam because I've got loads of your mum's jam look, loads of it, loads of it now, what my idea is is if I get the end and just roll it over. It might roll up like that. It's all gonna be a bit gooey, I know, but I don't care. Like I said, I think I could probably have rolled this out a bit more. And, um, and maybe got two out of it. So, all right, it's a bit messy, but who cares? We're just having a bit of fun. And I've got myself a pudding. So when this, what, well, I better give that a quick turnover. Hang on a second. Over we go. Oh, oh, that jam. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Oh, let's just see what jam it is. Oh, it's plum jam. Oh, plum jam. Loads of it, like half a jar. Oh, I might do some more cooking with this plum jam. Anyway, I've got me pie. I've now made myself a little dessert. Not quite sure if it's going to work, but what we're going to do, we're going to pop that one in the Ridge Monkey when this comes out, and we'll have a little look later. And if that puffs up nicely, little jam roly-poly, make yourself some custard, put some ice cream on the side, Bob's your uncle, funny's your aunt. But we get back to that. Anyway, let's have a little look at this. Oh, all nice and brown. Pop it over. Have a little look at the other side. Do you know, I think it's nearly there. I think it's nearly there. Oh, let's, I've got to lick the jam spoon. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I've got it all down me, all down me chin. Oh, I use a tea towel. I'll put it in the wash in a minute. I'll put it there, I'll put it there. It's gonna go in the washing machine. Right, so I need another plate. Give me two sacks. Here we go, another plate, another plate. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and slide this pie onto the plate, cut it in half, and see what it's like. Let's have a go. So, I think first what we do is we get ourselves, we get ourselves our spatula, and we're gonna pop it up, and we're gonna have a little look inside. Do you know, 
and I'm just gonna the filling the filling inside I think just needs to be a little bit warmer a little bit warmer it's nearly there it's nearly there I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit more I don't know what we're gonna do now while, while we're waiting for this I hope you're all self isolating and keeping yourself busy uh, put a video on the other day of me mountain bike I hope you like that that was a bit different uh, got something else coming up in the lounge a um, little bit later on in the week um, Lewis is loving his teas, absolutely loving his teas at the moment. I do all this cooking for him and he gets to sample it, can't be bad. Right, we're going to give this one more flip over. <coughs> like I say, it don't take long to heat up at all because it's, uh, like I say, it's got a top and a bottom. Gets really hot in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Uh, I think it's going to be nearly done, really done. And I don't really want to switch the video off and go back to another one. So I'm, I'm sort of ab-living a bit, you know, going on a bit. I know I'll go on a bit. Right, anyway, let's do it. Let's get it out of the ridge monkey, cut it in half, and see what happens. I'll tell you what we can do while we're giving that a little bit longer. What you do, get yourself some instant pesto. Take the lid off, put a bit of that in there. You can hear that noise, the old kettle boiling. We're gonna put a little bit of water in there. Stir that up, because Lewis likes his gravy. Oh, he likes his, so that's what he likes his gravy on his pie. That, I like it nice and thick. I don't quite like it that thick. Put a bit more in there. Look at that, there you go, that's nice, that's nice. That's so we got our gravy ready. I reckon by now the pie will be ready. And I think now it's time to get that out. Here we go. We're gonna turn it off. We're gonna get another plate out, just in case we need it. And we are gonna, hopefully, it's gonna slide out on that plate. So there you are. Turn it over. Oh. I can hear that sizzling in there. Absolutely sizzling away. Sizzling, lovely. Right, now, let's see. I'm gonna bring that right up to the camera. It's this way around so you can see. Look at that. It's not burnt anybody, it's well done. And then what we're gonna do, I'm not quite sure. I reckon we're gonna have to, uh, is a way to get, that's it. We're gonna get that one up of there. And then, because it comes in two bits, we're gonna pop that underneath there, and I'm just gonna see. There, I didn't have any oil or anything on there. Just pop it up, and there you have it, a pie. Look, so clean. No washing up, just get a cloth, wipe over it, straight back in the van, uh, ready to be used the next time. Very hot though, very hot, because I've been having it uh, being turned over and over for about 10 minutes. So that's how long that's taken, around about 10 minutes. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half, cut it in half. There you go, spin the plate now. Cut that in half, like that. And then I'm gonna cut this one in half this way, I think, like so. Lewis will probably want two bits of this, I'll tell you. And then I'm going to get my spatula, put that underneath there, lift him up and turn him round. There. Little bit of meat on the side. Bit of a potato and peas. Mushrooms are all done nicely. Smells absolutely delicious. Do you know there's probably enough gravy in this? You probably don't need. Uh, any of your beef gravy, but I know Lewis likes it. So, let's pour a little bit on the top, like so, like so. And there you have it, a steak pie with peas and potatoes on a plate 
in the Ridge Monkey. Now, come on, guys. This is what it's all about. Happy days. Come on. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a go yourself. Don't forget, subscribe, leave us a comment, and give us a thumbs up. See you on the next one. Bye.